when you see one of the strengths of the commercial cinema or the popular cinema is that it constantly rejuvenates itself by picking up themes and characters and ideas which are occurring anywhere whether it's uh, what you call the parallel cinema film a foreign film uh, literature or anywhere anything that they feel engages the attention of the large number of people they adapt it and they adapt it in their own way i mean they of course hype it up they put a lot of masala into it and they uh, you know assimilate it in their own pattern of narrative and that's how it uh, it survives for such a long time and will continue to survive because i think that's a very legitimate strength of the popular form to that extent anything i mean if certain characters of arjun sir have been adapted that way but also because they are the, the when arjun was made they reflected a new kind of characters emerging in our society a new kind of phenomenon represented by those characters emerging in our society so it is uh, it is very natural that uh, that it happened that the popular cinema picked it up according to my perception what happens in the popular cinema is the characters the motivation and everything on one level is simplified sometimes uh, the, the 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 treatment is extremely simplistic and on the other side it is hyped up you know you you get a larger than life quality to the characters so extremely simplified but larger than life characters is the final result now what i am attempting in this uh, film is to retain their realistic uh, uh, the realistic perception i am not treating the terrorist as just a villain i am treating the terrorist here as a as an intelligent as an intelligent person with a very committed uh, mind very strong convictions which he can defend with his arguments and with his actions so it's not just a simple villain who provides the evil part of the story no just as uh, the the police officer in this case has a lot of complexity has a lot of uh, contradictions and ambiguities in his character yet he has a dominant commitment to his duty as a police officer and uh, the moral choices that he has to face in such a situation is essentially the story so what i am trying to do is that i'm i'm not making my characters cosmetic or synthetic as is very necessary to do perhaps for a um, uh, for a popular form everything to be simplified everything to be hyped up and generally avoid the complexity and ambiguity be certain and simple that is the formula of the popular form but here i am moving away from the formula in the sense that i am not resorting to that kind of simplification or that kind of hyping up or that kind of uh, a total black and white approach i have complexities and ambiguities in my character